Eagle Nation, we continue our facility tours with a look inside the Ted Smith Family Football Center. Some of you call it the FOC, some call it the TED, but it is undeniably the temple of Georgia Southern football. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Danny Reed. Now, somehow within these walls, we've been able to pack 40 years worth of Georgia Southern football history, which dates back to May 23rd of 1981, when athletic director Bucky Wagner announced that the new head coach for the modern era of Georgia Southern football would be Irk Russell. We call ourselves the Bald Eagles. We call our offense a Georgia Power Company, and that's a terrific name for an offense. And our snap count is rate height. Now, we knew that he spent 17 years as Vince Dooley's defensive coordinator at the University of Georgia, but Art came to Statesboro, and a legacy was born. And that's where our story begins. Eagle Nation, we're now in the back portion of the main area that overlooks the east end zone of Alani Paulson Stadium. And once you get to this part, you see a lot of rings and you see a lot of trophies, including the six national championships that Georgia Southern won over a 15 year period from 1985 through 2000. For Georgia Southern. Pam Frankie Johnson. Frankie Johnson on the quick post pattern. Is all the way down to the 30. He's still on his feet. Peterson still on his feet. Peterson down to the 10. Now we know in 2014, Georgia Southern made the jump from the FCS to the FBS, joining the Sun Belt Conference, but we also know that the winning did not stop. In that first year, Georgia Southern 8-0 in league play, first team ever to make the jump from the FCS to the FBS and go undefeated in conference play, culminating on November 29, 2014 in a dramatic comeback victory over ULM 22-16. Now, despite all of that success in 2014, because they were a transitioning program, Georgia Southern was not bowl eligible. However, they only had to wait one more year to go to that very first bowl, and it would be December the 23rd, 2015 at Lad Peebles Stadium in Mobile, Alabama against MAC champion Bowling Green. Now, they might have been favored that rainy night, but Georgia Southern dominated the second half, outscoring the Falcons 35-0 as part of a crushing 58-27 win and one of the top moments in the history of Georgia Southern football. The next two years for Georgia Southern football they were a struggle, 7-17 Seven and 17 combined, back-to-back -back losing seasons for the first time in program history. But the return to glory happened in 2018. Georgia Southern became just the fourth team ever to go from double-digit losses to double-digit wins. A berth in the Raycom Media Camellia Bowl followed down in Montgomery, Alabama. At the historic Crampton Bowl, Georgia Southern again had to rally. They had to do it late. On the final drive of the game, Tyler Bass was true blue from 40 yards out, and the Eagles defeated the Eagles of Eastern Michigan 23-21, to marking the second bowl victory in program history. All right, Eagle fans, we're going to make our way through the coaches' offices, and we might even see if Coach Lunsford's back there. So let's head on in. Now, one by one down the hallway, each position group has its own office. See, the flags are a nice accent to cover up some of the names. And wide receivers coach Dimitri Donald, hard at work. You guys might know who that is right here. He had a couple of pretty good runs for Georgia Southern. Offensive coordinator Bob DeBess. As we make our way around this corner, these are hallowed grounds. We talk about Paulson Stadium all the time, but these are truly hallowed grounds. We're going to go inside Coach Lunsford's office if he lets us. Hey, Come coach, on in, What's Danny? going on? Stay what's six good? feet away. That's all I got to say. I'm only 5'6", so we don't have to worry about that. Okay. <laughs> what's going on? This place we already talked about opened up six years ago. Being here every day, what kind of edge does this give you recruiting-wise as opposed to the rest of the Sunbelt Conference? Well, you know, um, just this building, the, the functionality for our guys, I mean, they've got everything here, uh, you know, from the weight room, the training room, the equipment room, locker room, their position meeting rooms, and, and, and it's a football-only facility, you know, and so, um, you know, our guys are able to come in here and get their work done. That's academically, that's uh, athletically, that's socially, and, you know, we also give them the opportunity to get it done spiritually, too. Your office overlooks Paulson Stadium. You speak all the time very passionately about the power of Paulson. 
but for somebody that stands on that sideline every home game, just what is that feeling like? Man, most unbelievable feeling in the world, man. You know, and I like this this view right here from my office, man. Very well blessed to to have this, but my shades always stay up because <laughs> I always want to look out there and go, man. Uh, that energy, that power, that, you, you know, everything that Eagle Nation brings to our football team and to our community and to our university, man. So I just can't wait for the fall to get here and we can feel that again. All right, you've probably got a Zoom meeting you've got to get ready for. We appreciate the time. We're going to keep taking Eagle Nation through the facility. Appreciate it. Keep practicing uh, social distancing, please. Don't need to get farther away. <laughs> nah. Thank you all. G-A-T-A. All right, guys, we're going to keep on moving through the Ted Smith Family Football Center. We're inside the main team room inside the Ted Smith Family Football Center. Now, this is where Georgia Southern football has its daily meetings. They can watch film, go over basic presentations, where they not only self-scout, but they also get ready for the upcoming opponent. Now we're inside one of the main meeting rooms for Georgia Southern's individual position groups. It just so happens that we're talking about the offensive line. All across the walls you can see scouting reports, the ability to draw up plays, honoring academic excellence. And also on the main wall you can see how they chart individual performance for guys that are on the current roster. And up top a row of former All-Americans, guys like Franklin Stevens, Fred Stokes, the late Vance Pike, Brett Moore. The names go on. Next up on our tour, this is the area where head strength coach Matt Greenhall helps build those hurting bombs. The Georgia Southern football weight room. Let's head on in. The weight room is outfitted with individual squat racks which have capabilities for pull-ups and bench press. There's dumbbells, there's treadmills, there's elliptical machines, and Georgia Southern football players also have all nutritional outlets available for them so they can be at their best when it's time to hit the field. All right, this is the main hallway just outside of the Georgia Southern weight room. On this side, you have individual lockers for all players corresponding with a certain number so the equipment staff can get them what they need before practice and really before they take the field for any kind of competition. On this side, you take a look at every player that has gone on to professional football. You take a look at Tracy Ham during his time with the LA Rams and then later the Canadian Football League. Fred Stokes winning a Super Bowl with the Washington Redskins. Earthwin Moreland winning a Super Bowl with the New England Patriots. J.J. Wilcox participating with the Dallas Cowboys, the New York Jets, and of course he was signed by the Falcons before the injury that took away his last season. And most recently, guys like Young Way Koo with the Chargers and now the Falcons because he was signed by them last season and did very well down the stretch. And standout running back Matt Breida, who had a chance to play in this year's Super Bowl. Now we're inside the Georgia Southern locker room. Each player gets an individual space. This is what it looks like for redshirt senior linebacker Rashad Bird. Goals blitz, they bring seven. Moore gonna throw, he was hit, the ball's out! It's back free inside the 35! Eagles recovered! It's Rashad Bird! He's gone! With cleats and spikes in the bottom, helmet going up top, or various items in the middle. Up top is where the shoulder pads go, and that's fully outfitted with ventilation capabilities. We have made our way back outside the Georgia Southern football weight room. This is the field of dreams right behind the east end zone. Thanks to the generous contribution from the Rotary Corporation, this is where many of our younger fans and maybe even some of the adults can frolic while Georgia Southern is taking on that day's opponent. And this is the very walkway that Eagle football goes down before they take Paulson Stadium. Now, when you're up in the stands here, whether it's the home side or the visiting side, you see the large inflatable that's set up right at the end of this walkway. And you hear the music, you see the highlight video, you get yourself charged up and wait for your Eagles to take the field. And we make our way to our final stop, the bust of Irk Russell. Now, many people have had a chance to headbutt Irk Maybe it gives them a little bit of luck. Maybe it fills them with that true blue spirit. But it's no doubt that this is the father of Georgia Southern football. We thank you so much for joining us on this facility tour of the Ted Smith Family Football Center. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Danny Reed. Stay safe, stay healthy, and GATA.